Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, your boy Cetrix, and welcome back to some more LEGO City Undercover. So on our last episode, we delivered the mechanical T-Rex to Vinny at the airport. Now, we are going to be, in this episode, stealing one of the fire department's fireboats for Vinny. And possibly this, this last deal could lead us to Rex Fury. But without further ado, let's just get on with the job. Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah, well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your train. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet. Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not toys. They are not to be played with. Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola. He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. All right, so which means now we can finally get the police officer disguise. And it looks like the chief is kind of mad that we didn't manage to... I guess I just pulled this lever? Yep. It looks like we didn't manage... He didn't get his cake. The flavor they want. I guess they bought him vanilla or strawberry. Alright, so now we got this. Yeah, this isn't gonna be that easy. Let's see. Come on. Yep. Alright, studs. Gotta collect. Okay. Astronaut. All right, so green, yellow, blue, red. Beam me up. And now we've got the parts for a color swapper. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. Uh-huh. All right. Hmm. Now let's get to painting. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. All right. Now it's unlocked. So let's get to work. Got the garage door open. Mhm. Mm now let's open up. And now we have unlocked the fireman costume. Well, don't you look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look, a raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only someone could put out the fires with an extinguisher. Got That's great! Well done! You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Although, most of the recent fires have been burning down properties of small-time criminals. It is almost as if someone wants to put their rivals out of business. Okay. Everything's working out just fine. Wait a minute, that door is shut. Oh, oh, and 
an innocent Valfandel is trapped behind it. Oh, and look here. A fire axe. Yeah. Do you think you could somehow use this axe and pull that door? Don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Of course not. So now let's hack down this door. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Oh, well aren't you big and strong? Pick up the valve in there. Good. Oh, great heavens. Look. One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes. Okay, this guy is being way too sarcastic. This? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. Ooh. All right, you lasted ages. That's gotta be a record. Uh... Muy bien! You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Let's hurry up then. Open the gates! Cool. Next area. Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends! Alright, let's Go see... Lab, wait there! Jump! Cool. <laughs> excellent catch! Right a bit? Keep going right! Good work! Hey! This is too easy. Got him! Go left! Left some more! Stop! Jump for it! Animo. Nicely done! Right and here. the last one. Get ready! Yay! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these. Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello cool. to my massive friend! Hop on to one of them! Alright. Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's half Four and five. Aren't you, Officer Awesome? That's it for this side. Now the next. And that's nine. And there you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen. What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Muggins the Third, has become trapped on a ledge. You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now, you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling. Because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Oh no, I wonder what it could possibly be. Oh wait. All right, he's enjoying this way too much. All right, so let's just build this ladder. All right. Now let's get. Well, my training's get almost finished. Bit. I still gotta get to the fireboat. 
Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. You're really obsessing about we about this way about f for Rex, right? Now let's chop down this door. Awesome. Quickly, hurry! It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes. Also, in case you get hungry. Ugh. Gross. And this is supposed to be a good, new, a brand new uniform. Let's hurry. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Let's bust down these doors. Ooh, TNT. I do not think I will be able to handle that. Okay. Now TNT. I'm here. Take cover. Alright. Admiral Pom Pom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was <laughs> quite the contract negotiator. All right. I think it considered cheating using our other disguises, but the game doesn't seem to think it like that. But oh well. I'm not gonna look look a gift horse in the mouth. So just collecting some studs, some power bricks. Okay. So far, this mission is going very easy. Got it. Now, what are we gonna do here? Oh, great. Do I have to bring this thing in? Crap. All right, here we go. What the heck? All right. And boom. Easy enough. All right. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That was simple enough. You saved him. Okay, well we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food. And wrong flavored cake. But we'll have to suffice. Wow. They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dundee's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Nah, nobody really likes Gun Grundy. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. <sighs> it's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying. Seeing as we're right, let's take a look here. Fighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him, and opened some of his presents, and congratulated him on his 50th birthday when he's only 40. Come on. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one, and got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. That's one. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. Two. Three. Well done, man. That is uh -huh. outstanding. What's going on out there? 
You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Jeez, he really is a grouch. Oh well. He seems to be enjoying himself. Now that he got him out of his office, so let's go get that key. Darn it, it's locked. Now what am I gonna do? Hmm. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal, if you like. Nah. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so now how am I supposed to get up here? Aha! I knew there was something there. Let's do this, Chase. Undercover. An undercover work within undercover work. Interesting. Alright, so here we are. Got the key. You ever right. snuck into Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I couldn't make the jump to his office. Huh. What if we brought in a hang glider? I'd so be up for that. <gasps> Alright. So try using the hang lights. Okay. We can make the jump. Alright, but how am I supposed to make that kind of jump? That doesn't make any kind of sense. A hang glider. Oh, great. I can't make it. That needs something there. Right. I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. Eh. Nope. That's not it either. I thought there would be something that would help. Hmm. Alright. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Hmm. Ah, the chicken. Maybe I can try the chicken. Yeah, that could work. Alright, let's see. No! Alright, let's try this. Worked. Those idiots didn't have a bad idea after all. Now let's get into the office. All right. And now down we go. Bingo. Now all we need to do is listen to that safe. Got it. Okay. Now let's just get out of here. This party was dumb anyway. Here we go. Hold up. Wonder what's in here. Okay. A red brick. Let's make tracks, boys. All right. So we've got to the boat. Now how are we supposed to get out of here? Hmm. Uh -oh. Time to find this boat and sail it away. Hmm. What am I really do supposed to do here? 
there. And I have a pretty good idea where I know it'll look. It's in the ice box. Bingo. Alright, let's do this. Now open sesame. Bingo. Now we just need a color slopper. Oh, studs. Almost there. Now, mm hmm. And beam him up. Another color swapper. No, not color swapper. It's a dynamite machine. Now, where am I supposed to carry off this? That made a big boom. Okay. Alright, so now we got the red, so we can be able to change this to the green light to red. Now she'll cut off the power to the fans. Okay. Let's go back up. Huh? Have to wait for it to come back down then. Okay. Now let's wait for it to successfully go up, then jump. Alright. Now. A. Made Chris, it. Over here. How did you guys get in here? Uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <laughs> like we have a choice. Aw, I like him. Oh well, at least some of them have some faith in me. That's one. Alright, so now let's unwedge this door so we have full access. Okay. Now. How in the world's name do we get over there? That's two fires put out. Hmm. Still. What do we do now? And off. Okay, now we don't have to swim over there. I mean, do we have to swim over here? I think so. Huh. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Mm -mm. Nope. 
Because I have to find some other way to get over there. Hmm. I got an idea. No, that's an idea. Yes. Now the door is open. Uh, okay. I mean, it did fine without this in the first place, but okay. Okay, ouch. I was never that good at backstroking in this game at all. Alright, we got the police shield. Now... We can open up. And get to the bad guys. Who we are actually assisting in stealing the boat. The boss said you should get on the water cannon. Okay. Water cannon, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, I think I got I think I see what I'm supposed to do here. It's a water lock. All we just need to do is fill up with water and it'll automatically open. A waste of water, but it's useful. Alright, job completed. We got one police badge. Eighty five percent. Not bad. Let's continue on with the story. can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards. All I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kind of... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I have somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well, really smartly dressed for cops. They're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an unmarked black van, and... Uh... Limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Oh, no, Natalia. Really? This again? Oh, well. Another damsel in distress rescue. But anyway, guys. I believe I'll have to follow Vinny some other time. But don't worry, guys. We will see you all again in the next episode. So if you like, don't forget to leave a like. Comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys for some more. 
This has been Cedric's, and I'll see y'all again when things get freaky. Bye.